still rain free on our million watt live Doppler radar. First alert Doppler are going to be dry, it looks like, for the rest of the week. Here are the current temperatures. They vary quite a bit. You get some of the larger population centers like Huntsville, it's 64, but you go up towards Athens, it is 47 degrees already. 61 in Albertville. Also, some of the higher terrain, higher elevations, going to be just a little bit warmer as that cooler air drains down towards the valleys. It's called cold air drainage. Here's your morning forecast. The sun in your eyes on the way to work, perhaps, and that'll be about the only problem you have, although a touch of fog is possible. 64 by 8 a.m., mostly sunny. More on your forecast for the next seven days coming up. It is 10 o'clock. The news starts now. A manhunt underway tonight for the man accused of killing a university professor in Mississippi. Investigators consider him armed and dangerous. We'll tell you what message he has for police. Plus, it's a long night for lawmakers. They're working right now on a solution to the state budget issues. And a jury's preparing to hear more testimony in the case against a man accused of killing his wife 18 years ago. WAFF 48, your first alert station. You're watching WAFF 48 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Mark Thornhill. I'm Kim Essex. Thanks for joining us for WAFF 48 News at 10. Developing story tonight in Mississippi, a manhunt is underway for a man accused of killing a professor at Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi. Police say 45-year-old Shannon Lamb is wanted for the death of Professor Ethan Schmidt. He's considered armed and dangerous. They believe Lamb also killed a woman who lives in Gaucher. Investigators say he sent them a message saying he is not going to jail. Mary Maloney has more on the search. Delta State University students